Hey everybody, it's Zan the Red, and welcome back to How to Date a Magical Girl. And then last we left off, uh, I spent a week just carting around Kauri's, well, the, the, the product of her ridiculous shopping spree that, you know, Lord knows she needed everything she bought, didn't she? Okay, so what's the schedule? Uh, you two are going to be in... Uh, oh, I should also see if I have anything that you wanted. Uh, yeah. Okay, you two, however, yeah, chemistry with department store. So, I'm going to go ahead and drink that love, that love potion. Um, oh, yeah, I have two anyway. Right. I drank the love potion. Right. We're off tomorrow. Okay. So, just make sure. Okay. We're going to go to the convenience store first. Just to see if we have anything for you at all. Uh, then Sheba and the department store. Okay. Hello, Hikari. Do I have anything for you? No, I do not. Well, that is a shame. I'm so very sorry. Um. Cafe Sheba. Hello, Yui. Give Yui a magic scroll. I figured you'd like it. Addison, how can I accept such a wonderful gift from you? I, I truly appreciate this. I can't believe you got me a gift. Thank you so much. These are actually creatures. By 11! Oh my god! I. Uh. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yep. This is a lovely gift, Addison. How'd you know I'd like to, su su such a thing? The game told me. I honestly wouldn't have guessed. I mean, well, no, wait, you had a flower in your hair, actually. I, sh I should have taken the cute. God damn it, I'm stupid. She had the flower in her hair. In the beach scene. That's not why I didn't notice, okay? That had nothing. It just. I, I, I'm just bad at, you know, picking up details like that. I'm uh, just. I remember the coffee. Uh -huh. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll treasure this until it wilts, unfortunately. By four. Well, okay, it was kind of cheap, so I can understand that. Uh, what does that put you at? My god. <laughs> okay. Right. I think I'm going to go and spend some time with Yui. Yep. Let us go on a date, shall we? Oh, uh, hello, Addison. Uh, um, would you like to come foraging with me? The, my voice just gave up. Fuck. Foraging? I need some alchemy ingredients. It's the way, actually. And I usually gather them in the forest. Oh, that's part of a good idea. I should go practice some... Uh, I should get some practice foraging and making potions, too. Already have. But yes, I need more practice because I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Are you having trouble with alchemy class? Um, not so much trouble with alchemy. I just have trouble finding the ingredients. Remembering the recipes. Uh, mixing them to get to the right time. Oh, and bottling potions. So yeah, I guess I do have trouble with alchemy. <clears throat> <laughs> well, maybe I could help you. I'm, I'm quite good at it for a novice. Really? That'd be awesome. But first, uh, let's find some ingredients. Certainly. Let us hunt! Phew, this place never gets any less creepy, does it? I think it looks charming. But you're just not used to being outdoors. I think it's quite lovely, to be honest. Thank you. Absolutely. So do I. Not many people come here because it's so big. You can easily get lost in here. Most people just buy ingredients, but I think finding them is half the fun. It is, yes, exactly, but buying them is the alternative when I am too dense to locate them on my own, and I'm desperate. <sighs> you get to hear birds singing, and sometimes you see deer or foxes. Plus, that feeling you get when you find a really rare ingredient. I find myself grinning as you, I listen to Yui passionately ramble on about foraging. You know what, Yui? Hmm? You didn't stutter once when you were talking about foraging. I think you're more confident when you talk about things you love. Oh, oh, oh I, 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 I... <laughs> it's okay, you, you. Oh, you gave her a nickname. I don't even listen to you talk about these things. 
Did you just call me Yu Yu? Uh, sorry, is it too forward of me to give you a nickname? Heh, <laughs> no. I've just never had one before. It's kind of nice. Yu Yu. Uh oh. <laughs> We spent a bit uh, a bit longer looking for some alchemy ingredients. Yui talks about a fabled ingredient called Devil's something something, and I swear I found it. But Yui looked, and it turns out I found this mysterious goo. She refused to tell me what the goo was made of, but she wouldn't touch it as she carefully bagged it from my bare hands. I found the closest stream and scrubbed my hand clean just in case. I need some of that. About now into our exploration, Yui's stomach gives an almighty grum uh, growl, embarrassing her to no end. That signaled the end of our hunt. I declared it was time to get some food and suggest we go to Cafe Shiba. Sounds a plan. The cafe is rather quiet. We locate a nice nook to get cozy in. Yui seems happy, and I think she appreciates not having to sit so close to the people. Oh, I know that feeling, love. <clears throat> the waitress soon comes over when we place our order. It doesn't take long for it to arrive. Two slices of chocolate cake and one extra large coffee. Ah, girl. You sure to love your coffee, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I guess I like something bitter to accompany sweet things, like this cake. What is that? It kind of reminds me of, well, life, I suppose. Life is so full of bad things, the, the bitter stuff, but every once in a while. She trails off, but I can see where she's going with it. However, I don't appreciate you uh, insinua- well, metaphorically connecting coffee to the bad things in life. You know, I know you're just using it as a representation, but hey, coffee is a blessing. It's a gift from the gods. So, what'd you do if you graduate? You gonna become a famous alchemist? N no, I, I don't think I'm going to become famous. Besides, I have something else in mind, something bigger. Oh, do tell. N no, I can't. N n n n n n yeah. Now I'm stuttering. Not yet, I I anyways. I'll probably head back home if I can and work at my parents' alchemy shop. So that's why you're so good at alchemy. It's in your blood. Working at your parents' alchemy shop seems like a good plan. Y yes, but I might not be able to. Huh? Why? What's stopping you? Some of the customers are not so nice to me. They think I did something bad. Like what? N never mind that. I decided to drop the subject, even if it is a bit strange. She'll talk to him about it, about it when she's ready. Yes, there. Good. Don't push. But, you know, be there for if she needs to, if she wants to. Well, I bet your parents are proud of you. I know I would be. Striking it out on your own to become an amazing magical girl with a gift for alchemy. You are truly someone to admire, you. Th thank you. Your parents should be proud, too. You're very special. Nah, my parents are just glad that I managed to feed and bathe myself without their supervision. <laughs> God, ah, oh, martyrdom, drop a grenade. <laughs> oh, Yui giggles quietly, but really, we should study alchemy together. Some, uh, uh, but really, we should study alchemy together. I bet if you tutored me, I'd be able to pass the flying colors instead of fail, uh, failing with flying potions. <laughs> okay. We go on talking about alchemy in school for a while. Yui eventually tells me that what that mysterious goo I found was made from. I. Went and washed my hands several times after hearing your answer. I told you it was shit. It's just magical like pixie shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was that was adorable. That was sweet. And we can go on a second date, which sounds really fucking scummy, but I mean Technically at this point it's not even like we're dating dating. It's just, you know, I think this is the point where you're Dating, you know, officially. At this point, it's just hanging out with your friends. Yeah, okay, so you're at the convenience store tonight. Okay. Hello, Miu. Let's us, let us date. Hey, Miu. Wanna grab some to eat? Perhaps. You're not planning on taking me to some greasy burger place, are you? N no. Unless you want to go. <laughs> Unless... Burgers are delicious. I can't afford to eat garbage like that. Besides, what would everyone think if they saw me at such an establishment? My personal value would plummet. Your personal value. 
Girl, it's okay to let go every now and then and just, you know, enjoy the seedier elements of life. Hamburgers are not healthy, but they do taste damn good if you go to the right place. It's, it's, I mean, okay, it, not just go to any fast food joint because a lot of those suck. But like, find a real good, like, actual burger place? Mmm. There you go. That's the good shit. Yeesh. Well, that was actually with the local cafe. Because there's nowhere else to go to begin with anyway. Unless that displeases you. <laughs> Unless Her Majesty can also not be seen in such a location. No, I've been there. With, uh, the tea selection is quite nice. I'll join you, but if you need to go change first. Huh? It's one of these clothes. They already smell at all. You're making a joke, aren't you? More or less. <laughs> She's obviously holding back a larger laugh. You really let the let, let the veneer down. Seriously. It can't be. Although I suppose part of her story is that she practices self-control largely for a reason. Like, you know, she doesn't want to let her emotions get away because that can lead to bad things. You know, maybe. That's my assumption is that, is that, is that that's where her uh, particular tale is headed. Which, if so, is a shame. Welcome. Oh, Miss Yamira. It's good to see you again. The usual table? Yes, please, Jenny. Jenny. I'll bring you some menu shortly. Please make yourself comfortable. Whoa. You're regular here? Hmm. Like I said, their tea selection is quite adequate. I had to come here to study. I see. Simiyu, what do your parents do for a living? I can't help but notice when I walked you home today that your house is quite large. I'm surprised you don't know already. The student body tend to gossip enough. Well, shoot me like I've been in a coma for a while. <clears throat> I mean, what? Uh, tell me the details, girl. Mm, well, there isn't much to say, really. My mother inherited a fortune from my grandfather. Oh? Well, how'd he earn his money? I don't mean to pry, I'm just genuinely curious. Uh-oh. I... I'm afraid I can't say, or rather I don't know. Mother has never told me the truth. Something about the way she said that makes me feel like she's lying to me, but I can't be too sure. Uh, alright, well, let's change the subject. What do you want to do if you grant you this year? Sorry? You, you actually wonder what I want to do? Uh, yeah? No one ever asks me that. Oh. Okay. That's depressing. Yeah. That's, um... Ooh, that, the, the, the implications. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Seriously? People ask me that every day. That was a normal topic of conversation. Though people think I'm pretty aimless, and maybe they're just worried about me. <laughs> but someone like you has the whole world in their grasp. So, what do you want to do? Oh, I... I've never said this out loud, but... I would love to go overseas and join a famous orchestra. I play violin, you see. That's amazing! You should totally do that! I'm torn, though. I might never get the chance to do such a thing. I have responsibility here. What responsibility? There are people relying on me. Let's leave it at that. People were relying on you, huh? Do you mean me and Ray? No, not exactly. Oh, I know, I know. You're probably the president of a school club, right? Like the chess club or something. Uh, I suppose it's just natural for you to assume I'm a club president. There's that condescending tone again. As a matter of fact, I am part of a club, though it's not related to school. And the members are all rather hopeless without me, to be honest. Can I join your club? Why? Because we're friends, right? Friends. Maybe. Huh. And the plot thickens a bit for me, you there. Oh. How got the day off? What should I do? Deal with the feels. Um. The arcade in the right. Okay, so I need to give you the Malgasama so I can take the potion. But I don't have anything for you. I don't have any money. Hello, Ray. 
Whoa, this is so cool. Where'd you even get this? Yo, you're the best. I love getting gifts from you. Brave's back should increase by eight. Oh my, that would place her at uh, 25. Damn. Okay, uh, first off though, I don't remember where everyone else was. Guess I'm just gonna run around and check. You're here. I don't have anything for you. Sorry, Cowrie. Um. Wait, uh. It wouldn't be the. No, you're. No. Hey, hey Shin. What's up? Department store? Nope. Uh. Forest? No. What? Why would not checked? Oh god, I'm stupid. I could have sworn! Or maybe it was at night. And I'm just... Ah, hell. Their uh, relationship with the product pro pro will progress to the next stage. Sure. But... I think this episode has gone on long enough? I believe? I think that's... I, 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 I lost track of time again. Uh... I think it has though. So, yeah, um... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when we'll go on our date with Ray. Three in a row. I'm actually doing something for once. Woohoo.